So I run Velociraptor AI, an AI automation agency, and the world of AI this week has been turned upside down by the release of DeepSeek, basically a new ChatGPT competitor. And this is everything you need to know about it, but simplified for a non-technical person. So basically what DeepSeek released was a new LLM, large language model, similar to ChatGPT, the model by OpenAI, um, but it was free, open source, and apparently cost a lot less to train and to build than OpenAI's models. So the stock market went crazy because DeepSeek announced that it only cost about $5.6 million and a whole lot less GPUs to build the DeepSeek model than it cost OpenAI, say, to build their new O1 model, which is of a very similar performance. However, uh, American companies are accusing the Chinese company of not being completely honest about how much it costs to train the base model, DeepSeek R10, which the DeepSeek R1 model is based on, which is what uh, is the main model that the, everyone's been talking about. So yeah, there's some, there's some arguments about how much it actually costs to build and uh, US company US companies accusing DeepSeek of you know, lying in order to make them look bad. And this has caused a big trigger sell-off this week uh, of NVIDIA and US tech stocks basically because they think that, oh, this DeepSeek model is so much cheaper and OpenAI and these AI companies don't need all the money and compute that they've claimed they needed to build, uh, build these brand new models. But I think there's definitely um, some lying and some politicking going around. But what is true is that DeepSeek has released this great new model. Um, there's a whole lot of different versions of it because there's the big uh, 671 uh, parameter, 671 billion parameter model, as well as a whole lot of smaller uh, light versions basically of the model. This is basically how you get a flagship phone, a mid-tier phone, and then a low-end phone, which all can do similar things, but to varying levels of quality, cost, and uh, standards basically. And the great thing about DeepSeek is that it is open source. So you can take it and if you have a powerful enough computer, you can run it at home for free by yourself. Uh, which you can't do with OpenAI's closed source models. This is the big thing and also why uh, there was such a big stir of the markets uh, because it's basically saying, hey, there are open source models that are now almost as good as some of the closed source models and this erodes some of OpenAI's moat. But what's great is that because it's open source is that all the novel algorithms and all the novel architectures that DeepSeek introduced in their paper, um, which made them, which enabled them to definitely train the model cheaper, um, OpenAI and Anthropic can use those same techniques in their next model releases to make their uh, next models even more efficient, even more smart. And yeah, it's basically a great thing for the open source community. And for us as consumers, it just means we're going to get better and better intelligence for even cheaper, cheaper in the future, which is great. There was also the potential news of Trump putting tariffs on Taiwan and the semiconductor industry, which further spooked the markets. But NVIDIA is already seeing a bit of a comeback today. There's also this thing called Jevons Paradox, which basically states that when a resource gets more efficient, uh, the demand for it increases, doesn't decrease. Basically, when light bulbs got more efficient back in the late 1800s, we didn't use less electricity. We used a whole lot more because suddenly everyone could have access to light. It was cheaper, it was more efficient. We made new uses for electricity. And basically, I think, and a lot of other people think, the same thing is gonna happen with AI and with intelligence. As it gets cheaper and more efficient, we're gonna use it in more tasks day to day. It was too expensive to use in schools previously. Now it's cheaper, so every school child is gonna use it. And it was too expensive to use the latest models to do basic tasks. Now they're cheaper, now we're going to use it even more. The same way we use electricity in so many ways now, the same thing is going to happen with AI. It's so my personal prediction, buy some more NVIDIA stock. The GPUs that run these things are only going to get more and more popular and are going to get more and more important. Also, the cost to train DeepSeek was a lot cheaper than um, the OpenAI and Anthropic models, but the cost to run it, to do inference on it, which is basically when you type in, hey, you know, make me a, a recipe for dinner tonight, and it you know, runs the GPU computations, it uses roughly the same GPU computations to run the DeepSeek model as it is to run the OpenAI model. And so, yeah, training is a big part of these model costs, but also how much it is to run it on a daily basis is also more important. And so, yeah, GPUs aren't going anywhere soon. Also, just a quick side note, don't use the DeepSeek website for testing DeepSeek with sensitive or confidential information because their privacy policy literally states that the Chinese government will go and use your data and they will store it. And uh, while US tech companies might not be super trustworthy, um, they're a lot more trustworthy than the CCP. So just if that matters to you, go use Grok or Perplexity or one of the other uh, hosted providers of the DeepSeek models that are based in US territories because once again, it's open source so anyone can use it. Download it on your own computer if you really want to play with it. That's everything you need to know about DeepSeek. Catch you next time.